cover. Now I try it with some structure. Sets me up. I pull here and I drive here. This is a really good shot for a woman. Even if not holding on. Literally to drive this up at this angle. Not this, not that. Here. You drive it up with a hand behind it. Good circuit tension. And strike up into the throat. Really good shot for a woman. Here, I'm using it to disrupt blood flow to his brain. So I'm using this elbow and uh, ulna edge. It's still relatively sharp. A sharp uh, uh, ballistic impact to the internal external quality. I'm going to shut off the pipe. Right. The shot comes, push the cover, and I'm going to put this shot in. And when you get a feel, push pull with this. From there, we will use the same thing. Just kind of walk through him, and then with this arm here, boom, land this shot. That's all we're doing, right? We're going crash, ramp and drive this. Putting that knee, step forward, and we have to step up, boom, an elbow, or maybe our knee again. Whatever you want. Right? What do you play for that? So we're going to work, we're going relatively slow, because we're going for feel of movement tactile energy from the partner who starts to become non-compliant. So we get a feeling of what it feels like. Very quickly, you want to go to pads. So you want two pads on. The reason that we want to go to impactive equipment is that 80% of all training, hardwired into the correct motor memory, should be what you intend to do most. What's the first important thing in a physical sense? Learn to hit fucking hard. That's it, with every tool. To do that, you need impact work. So 80% of your work should be pads. 10% what you just did, and then 10% in simulation or scenario, right? So all we're gonna look at from here, you need to kind of hold this here to your chest, yeah? When you throw that first shot. So you're gonna throw that first shot, and I'm gonna crash now with some impact. He's gonna keep that there, so I can hit it again with some impact, right? right. Then he's going to drop both pads to me so that I can boom, walk forward violently. And then I'm going to switch step and he's going to put me in front of me and walk forward again. Right. Top, he'll crash in. And I'm using this here so I need to do this structure. I'm going from there, boom, nice and low. I could just take this target. In fact, if I get him to one knee from here and he feeds me an over overline target, I'm going to boom, with this one. So I want you to try this elbow downward because it comes with a lift. We don't use it in UC normally, but what we do attack is the brainstem. And attacking the brainstem with this shot is good, right? But you see in scenario, coming out like this is useless because he's hitting with the tricep, just hitting him with a muscle. In order to make it work, I need to articulate and target the point. That takes a conscious thought. While you're non Cognitive, you'll probably just prefer to cope my own while. But just for the purpose of this being lithway influenced, I want you to try this shot. So slightly front shot, boom, I crash it here. From here it's on, boom, extends to that. Get that boom, knee through. We want to turn, boom, walk through on the first one. And the second one with the knee just drop you the entire thing. Here, boom, one, boom, two, boom, three, and then here, boom, four. I can use this proactive, yeah, and then come from here all proactive the way I want to do it. Here, I've got counter offensive. Just here, keep them at bay, close big shot, boom, and a cover. Probably rattled from this, so I'm going to pull this, boom, drive that in. So you stunned on the high line. I mean, as soon as I walk through, boom, it's probably done. Yeah. If not, just switch that, boom, walk through his face, mm. right through his head. That's what I'm doing. Got the head here. Lights fucking out. One, two, partner and pad. So control, Ooh, feel it, <clears throat> drive it in, Boom. here, control flying, put that in. Then feed it to pads. Right? He throws the shot, spike cover in, you jam this and drive this in and just walk through with the knee. It's pretty much it from there. But for now, what we're gonna do is just move off the flank line and then boom hit. Nice straight piston shot. So you want that pad. So it's going to feed one pad here, put this and this, whilst this goes around your head. As soon as I'm attached, he'll drop them low. As soon as I've walked through, he'll feed one high. 
Here, boom, cover. Drive this in. There's the shock. Move off to plank. So I can get him to the flank in a number of ways. I can go from here and just flank off, or I can go from here and just push the arms like boom. Yes? Sorry. We may actually poof, cover, rock and drive, walk through with the knee. Maybe you need more than one. Moving on now. I want from this entry here to assume that I've knocked him back. If I've knocked him back, I need to reach for him to grab him. It's from here that I'll spear him with the head. If I take him too far away, boof here. And he moves right out of range, and now I go boom, low before I come back in high. So now he's going arms in. So he throws the shot, boom, cover. He's moved, attach, boom, drive that in, boom, finish the crease. Right? When you drive the head in, you hit him at the top of your head, from where your hairline is back, or from your eyebrows to your hairline. Centre quadrant, this, or this, this structure. You want to head back with your face. Right? Keep it in spine alignment in a straight line and I'm pushing off this foot. So rather than going just with my head, I'm pushing off, keeping my body straight, driving into it with my whole body. This comes from this way. So here, he throws the shot. Ooh, from here, he's slightly out of range of grabbing, man, and it's that. Then, boom, boom. Got it? Throws the shot. Put it in. He's out of reach, you grab him. Now I could strike, but I won't move that. And then I won't move that. Got it? Now just a slight variance. Well, imagine you're more confined. So you're in the rounds of a phone box. It's not the room to walk through him. You'd be right at the wall. Not that that would be a bad thing. So instead of walking through with the knee now, you're going to knee and retract, knee and retract. Yeah? So from here he throws the shot, boom, I cover. I wrap and drive this, then I'm going one, two, here. That's all I'm doing. Then I'm going to pull the turn off, and I'm going to pull the shot. Right. So that, that. I can go proactive, where I go first. I can do this. Or I wait for the shot to the shot. I'm waiting for the shot that the shot comes. From here, I drive this. Instead of walking through now, I'm just going to knee once, twice, move off like boom. On the pad. Just throw in the shot. Put this here. Move so I can spike it. Here. Wrapping this up. Here. Boom. Boom. I'm flying. Boom. It's here. It's head's here. All I've got to do now is turn. Turn my body. I just need, need. All I've got to do now is turn and walk. So what I'll do. Yeah? From the top. Right here, boof, wrapping and hitting this, boom, one, boom, two, and come off here, boom. 